I do want to talk about my favorite hair extension brand and not to mention they actually sponsored me finally I love their extensions so much they're so soft and silky and for me it's really hard to find good extensions that actually blend with your hair and if they do that's how you know they are 100% Remy real human hair the highest grade of human hair that you can get so on top of them just all around being amazing, they also are all ethically sourced and ethically manufactured, which I think is super, super important. So I'm going to show you my first style and how I put them in. So yeah. So the first thing I do to put in my hair extensions is I separate my hair right um, underneath the top of my ear line, just like this. And then you just pop it up with a clip like that. And I prefer to brush my hair after I put the extension in because I feel like it blends better. At least I do this because it's the size of my head. You kind of need to, you know, arrange them within like the size of your head. So for me, I do three on the bottom like this. Super easy. You just clip them in. And then that is how the first layer looks, right? Okay. Now we're going to separate our hair again. And I like to go from the temples down. And typically this is like the widest part of your head. So that's where I put the the set of hair with like the most clips. So like for example, like the four is what fits that for me. Unclip them all like so. And then you just attach it just like you did the first one. And you just go right up to that hairline and clip them in like that. Super, super easy. And then I take the um, extension with just one. One clip is what I mean, sorry about that. <laughs> and then obviously you're going to want to do the other side the same exact way. That way it's all even. Then you're just going to separate your hair again. And I would just say from like here up. This is just how I do it. I'm honestly not a pro putting in extensions, but I find this way works best for me and then I'm going to take an extension set with three little clippies and then I put them in like this just like that so as you can see they're blending quite nicely and then for this top layer I'm just going to section it a little bit right here and then put in the two clippers and I like to put it a little bit further than from my head right here because my hair personally is a little bit thin right here, so I feel like it just looks better when it's a little bit further back. And as you can see, that blends super, super nicely. You can't even tell that I have extensions in. But I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, obviously. I really need to start wearing these more often. Usually I'll go through like a little period where all I wear is extensions and I'll be like obsessed. Ooh, this is cute. What do you guys think? So if you want to get permanent extensions, I love this. Once we have all those in, I'm just going to curl the extensions into my other hair. And I don't like to curl the extensions beforehand because if they're already placed inside my hair, I can take a little bit of my natural hair and curl it with it, then it blends a whole lot better. Okay, so I'm sitting up a little bit higher so you can see the end of it, so you can see kind of how long they are. I prefer super long extensions because if I'm gonna put extensions in my hair, my hair better be down to my bottom. Okay, so my curling iron is heated up now and I'm just gonna find random strands and curl it. What I like to do is I like to curl the top part and then I let that sit for maybe about seven seconds and then I unwind it and then go like that. And I feel like that's a really cute way of curling. So I'm not gonna like, um, brush out the curls yet until the end because I find that they stay the longest that way like they'll literally stay for like two days like this so I'm gonna continue with that strategy also another thing I love about these extensions is they are literally like tangle free or something because a lot of other extensions like underneath right here it'll get really tangly and then you'll find like you have a lot of breakage underneath your hair however with these i never have issues with that and that is why i continue to stay loyal with Zala. sorry about my dog barking she's so protective come here you want to tell the camera what happened why are you barking so much huh huh my love you guys, she is so protective over her mama, aka me. Back to hair. Okay, so just curl the pieces just like you were curling all the other ones. 
curl it until there's about that much left. Let it sit for a little bit. And then unwind. And I'm gonna speed up the video and just do the rest. Oh, what was that, huh? <laughs> you guys, she is literally so territorial and so protective over me. Like, it's a good thing, but then also sometimes it's not because she'll just be all up in people's business when they come over to say hi. Like, she's the perfect amount of protective to where she warns them off, but she doesn't go as far as clearly, like, actually biting them. She just likes to intimidate with her bark which I feel like is like a good quality because it lets people know like, oh, there's a big dog here. I think that we have it all curled. Okay, so this is the finished look for when you wanna wear hair extensions and you wanna curl it. I personally like to wear this when I go out or something like that where I have to take photos or go to a fancy event. I prefer my hair to be long and these are the extensions I always wear. If you guys are in need of some really good hair extensions that are super soft and silky, 100% real rummy hair, and that are also ethically sourced and ethically manufactured, I would definitely check out Zala. You can get them at www.zalahair.com. I will also leave a link in the description box below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my hair right kind of in the center. And then what I do is I wet my hair like a lot and I take this little spray bottle with a truck on it. It's honestly just water. Um, and I just spray it get up to be like sopping wet practically and I typically like to do this when like I'm about to wash my hair that way I don't get it all wet again and then like ruin all the curls so I get it wet for like a super super like sleek look to where I can pull it really tight and this also low-key gives you the fox eye like no joke like look at that I'm so much more snatched now that I have my hair pulled back fire I just brush my hair and wet it and I put it to about here so I would say it's like a mid it's like you know mid hair and then I take a ponytail I just tighten it as tight as I can literally you guys it took me forever to figure out how to do this hairstyle and then I just take my hairspray just any hairspray that you have doesn't really matter and then I will take my clip and typically my hair starts to fall like right here so i'm going to put clips wherever i anticipate a little bit of you know hair ballage i don't really know what to say <laughs> um, and then i take the ponytail and i twirl it around and i just create like this little thing right here and then i take my clip and i just go around the hair and this is a super popular one. I see so many people wear their hair like this. This is probably my favorite way, honestly, just because my hair is out of my face. It makes my face look really snatched and my eyebrows look good. I love this hair look. Super easy, simple, even if you just like don't wanna do your hair, your hair is oily or something, <laughs> literally just get it wet, like sopping wet, pull it back to like as tight as you can, hairspray it, and it will literally stay all day. Like. I literally would see so many girls do this hair, so I'm like, how do they do it? Because I didn't really understand how they got to stay because my hair would always just like fall down, it wouldn't look as tight. But the key is water and hairspray and to put a ponytail before you put the clip in. So that's my secret. Okay, so for the next one, this is also a super popular one that girls have been wearing all the time. And I usually use my rat comb, but I can't find it for some reason. I have no idea. Maybe Michael took it. I don't know. But a rat comb is a um, brush with a really skinny tip to where you can like part your hair like perfectly. Okay, which I'm really, really bad at doing without it, but we are going to have to manage. Okay, here we go. So I just section my hair into two parts like that. And I'm going to put one side in a ponytail like this. Since my hair is already like a little bit wet from the last one, I'm just gonna wet my brush like this to where it's literally dripping wet. Like that is the key, guys. I'm going to brush out my hair. And you want to brush your hair kind of upward. So 
the hair can go more like that and it really like literally tightens up your eyebrows like you have threads in or something like look at that whoa you're just gonna take another hair tie i love these little scrunchies because they're not too big like normal scrunchies but they also protect your hair and they're cute see how tight i got that you're literally going to want to squeeze your hair as tight as you can and you're just gonna put it in a cute little pigtail like so many girls have been wearing their hair like this lately and i think it's so cute like yes it's a little throwback to like fifth grade but like i don't care i literally love this i think it's adorable and it makes your face look really good and i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side i'm going to grab this ponytail usually i'll put in matching ponytails but i honestly couldn't find any today so you get the gist of it and then just tighten them as much as you can and you have your cute little pigtails and you can also hairspray i already have a little bit of hairspray in my hair so i'm not gonna however if i was doing this hair like straight from when i woke up i'd put in hairspray um but here you guys go super cute okay so the next one that i'm going to do is i'm going to do just cute little braids so i split my hair again and i do this one super super chill i don't like to you know make this like super tight to my head and you're literally just going to braid each side of your hair like super super easy okay so i like to obviously have matching hair ties for this because i think it looks better and more aesthetic and knowing me i'm all about aesthetics then I'm just going to kind of go like this, scrunch it up a little bit. And then I like to take a cute little butterfly clip like this right here. And then just clip it. You can grab enough hair. Okay, there we go. And then you're just going to take the other side of your hair and do the same. And when you do the braid, make sure the hair right here, the top hair, underneath the middle. Because I feel like it looks different. Because like if you were to go like this you would like put it up front it looks more like little girl on the prairie or something and I, I don't know what i'm saying but you get you know you get the gist of it put the hair on top underneath the middle one i just think it looks a lot cuter so and then usually i just kind of play around with my little bangs that i have and if i want to put certain pieces back i will like usually I like to just keep like a little bit out like that and then clip the rest of it with like a little butterfly clip. I think that looks really cute. So this is the fourth look that I like to do all the time. Again, it's seriously so simple and easy. You don't even need to curl your hair. You don't need to put any heat on it. So it's super healthy for your hair. And honestly, that's how most of these are except for the first one when you're going for more of like a styled look, which I wanted to incorporate in this video because I feel like, you know, I want to show you all different things you could do with your hair that's kind of in right now okay for the last one i'm going to show you a cute quick messy bun that you can do i feel like i used to always get messy buns wrong and they just like wouldn't look good on me for some reason i'm gonna show you what i do now okay so i'll put my hair up kind of like this super chill not tight at all like the other styles and honestly like i'll leave a few bumps like i think it's kind of cute like that and then i'll pull the hair and then go like that and then you're going to take a smaller ponytail like this and then i'm just gonna put it in my down like that you're just gonna pull out little pieces to make it look a little bit messier like that then i'm going to wrap my hair around this and i'm not gonna do it perfectly i'm gonna leave like a few pieces stringing out because i think that's kind of cute and then I take a bigger scrunchie, because I just like the way it looks. Just wrap it around two times and then pull out pieces from the bun. And then if you want, you can pull out little pieces in the front. I personally like to leave it like this, but I'll show you what you could do. You could just pull out a couple pieces and make it look a little bit messier and cuter. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want me to do more beauty style videos, I definitely can. Just let me know in the comments below. And again, I want you guys to check out my favorite hair extension brand, Zala Hair. You guys are absolutely amazing. Again, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. You guys can find them at www.zalahair.com. I obviously will leave a link in the description box below. Anyways... I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to check me out on my socials, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!